friends, and welcome back to the beautiful world of Kingdom Come Deliverance. I am Lady Lilia, and again, we're back already. I'm recording a couple episodes today for you guys, and I am on the pause screen because um, Ulrich here is about to take off up this hill without me, and I don't want him to do that while I'm talking. <laughs> so, um, also, I had really weird webcam settings on accident last episode, so sorry if it looked a little weird. I think it did, but I didn't realize until afterwards. Because, you know, I'm professional and stuff like that. But anyway, um, we're gonna go. We're, all right, we're finding the mine shaft entrance. Yes, that's right, that's right, that's right. It has been a whopping three hours since the last episode. So I don't have that many excuses. I'll tackle ya! I'll tackle ya! <laughs> I don't have that many excuses for forgetting things, but you know how it goes. All right, um, he's got his sword out, so maybe I should get my sword out. Don't I have a shield? I did have a shield. I'm pretty sure I did have one. Yeah, I did have one. Okay, I don't know why I unequipped it. Probably because I was training or something. So, Ulrich, you don't have a shield, huh? Hmm? But uh, apparently you can do this quest without enlisting Ulrich for help. But I kind of, I like him and I want to see where his character goes. Uh, find the entrance to the mine shafts. Hello there, dudes. Who's there? Well, I, I never... What? The pig turns up with ah. Get over here! Okay, I'll people will you notice your bad behavior. That combat. Yeah. All right. Well, apparently we're just gonna attack yeah. everyone. I'm going uh. to enjoy this. Bollocks. Okay. Yeah. Over here! Where is everyone? Quick! I don't put it down. You're dead. Ah. <laughs> Rip. Wrist. <it. laughs> is that the best you can do? Oh my do? god! I climbed a tree. Oh, I climbed a tree. I'm the coolest. Okay, don't get surrounded. Don't get surrounded. Don't get surrounded. Don't. Okay, maybe I should have stayed in my tree. Uh, Ulrich? Three on one here. I don't think these guys have much skill, but it's still. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm falling, I'm falling, okay. Come here, lily liver. Okay, I'm climbing another tree again. It's, uh... <laughs> I, now I seem to be stuck in a tree. Hmm, interesting. Is that all you well, This is a interesting predicament. I'm gonna unlock for a second and try not to be in this tree anymore, What's but, the um... Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, all right. All right, the other guys, uh... They seem to be... They seem to be giving up, so I guess that's good for me. <laughs> oh, they figured it out again. Poke, poke, poke. Uh, okay, I don't want to be, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't like it. Fuck this! Good, run away. <laughs> run away, Ow. dude! Alright, this is so <laughs> goofy. I don't even know where I'm going. Okay, I need to definitely that guy's hurt a bit, so that that helps. Um, it's not it's now raining. Oh. Yes. Post! We're post! Okay, I feel like I could take down this two-handed sword guy really easily. Nope, no, I learned my lesson last time when I let you go. Yes, I did. I think, I tried to kill, did I kill him? I think, did I kill him or did he get away? I don't know. I think he got away, god damn it. Last time I left somebody there, it didn't go well for me, so. Oh, what, what, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Is that all you got? Where is he? Did he get... Come on, propose. Okay. On again. Is that the best you can do? Come on, come on. Time to lock. No? Okay. Ah! Oh! Oh! Where was happening? Oh God! What's 
What's happening? Where am I? Oh god. Help, 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 help. Okay. Okay. I'm going to enjoy this. Good. <laughs> Ah. Curse it. Oof. Gotcha. All right, come on, dude. You got no chance. No freaking chance against me now. Her god. What? I'm getting all kinds of skill points. There we go. There we go. That's more like it. All right. You got anything? Uh. It's like that. That. I think I already have that stuff. Nothing that worth it. I'm gonna need my horse. Guys, it's getting dark. Ulrich. Um, piercing arrow, nah. I'll take some bread. All right, I don't know where they where they went. Ulrich. Am I gonna find him dead at the camp? I hope not. There's no way they killed him. If they could if four of them couldn't kill me, there's no way that he died. Am I hungry? I am a bit peckish. Hopefully they didn't poison this. That would be sad. Ulrich! Whoa, what is happening to my monitor right now? Stop that. Oh. Must have been the transition to the right. No, it's still doing it. Okay, don't do that anymore, please. Hello? Bella, what are you doing? She's playing with a bobby pin. <laughs> okay, uh... I need a torch. I don't know where Ulrich went. This is spoopy. I should have stayed with him, I guess, but I got, like, they all went after me. I don't know where he went. Okay, I found him. Ulrich? Where are you going? Bella, shush. I'm trying to record videos. Um, <clears throat> did you take out the rest of the bandits, Ulrich? I thought I heard someone talking. Dogwood hunting bow, kettle hat. Ooh, nice. Actually need those. Master Huntsman sword. Oh god, where's he gone? I think one of them got away from me. Oh, here we go. What have we got here? Entertainment. He's Great. in his pajamas! He's actually <laughs> I will not be killed by a mere boy. Uh, I guess he must have knocked him out, and then looted him, and then... <laughs> Alright, whatever, Ulrich. I mean, I'm not judging. I'd have done the same thing before, but... What now? I'm just gonna let you find all the guys, I guess. <laughs> I 
mean, these tunnels are pretty spooky. It's very different from anything I've seen in the game so far, which is cool. I'm gonna assume that you know where you're going, Ulrich. It's just, he's not a very talkative sword, is he? Oh! I hear voices. And cats. Three would be better? 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3 score. Aha! Oh! Is that him? I should have took a marigold decoction, I'm just realizing. Hello! Peekaboo! Christ, who are you and what are you doing here? I'm here at the command of the royal hetman, Sir Radzig Kabila. Uh -oh. see? I don't That's know who no he is. concern of yours. I'm sure we could come to some sort of agreement. Uh, I have plenty of coin. <laughs> we can come to an agreement that you'll keep your mouth shut. Oh. 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 Ah. Please don't take this personally. Wait. What? Do you want to do it? Be my guest. It gives me no pleasure. You can't kill him. I have orders to take him to Ratai. That is unfortunate. I have orders to kill everyone involved in this business. You can't do that! I have no choice, as you are aware. Do we have to, to kill him? To he may have valuable information. Oh, For that to... exact reason, my master does not wish this man to fall into the wrong hands. Voices. Especially those of Radzik Kobila. Yeah, you can just lie about killing him. You can tell your lord the man is dead. He'll never find out. But he will. Or do you think you can lock this man away from sight until Judgment Day? Why not? Do not be naive, boy. Look around you. This land swarms with rats and snakes, especially now. There is no secret that is not for sale. If I let you have him, my own head will be on a spike before the month is out. Can we come to some kind of a de- Ooh. You don't have to go back to the Rosenbergs. Yeah. How do you know about the Rosenbergs? I'm Master smart. Master Feyfar recognized the writing on your letter of passage. Just as I said, there is nothing safe from prying eyes in this land. And where would you suggest I go? Into Sir Radzig's service? Yeah. He needs people like you. I serve Kubila. Out of the question. Why if not? he learned of all that I did for the Rosenbergs, he would hang me from the nearest tree. But you are right, I do not have to return to the Rosenbergs. In fact, I cannot. Why not? I am a knight without a crest, without allegiance. No one was meant to know whom I serve. If the Rosenbergs hear that I have been found out, they will see to it I vanish. They cannot afford to be associated with me. Where will you go then? Where the road takes me, as I have many times before. Farewell, Henry. What? Auf oh, come on. Auf Wiedersehen. Oh man, that sucks. I really wanted him to join. To join us. All right. You. Please, please. I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement. You can talk all you like, but not here. And Henry's not a ghost. Me. Let's go. <laughs> Dang it! I should have looked around first. Let's go. Master Feyfar is very keen to meet you. Yeah. I had such a different image of that guy in my head. It's weird. Good work, Henry. Thank you, Master Feyfar. It wasn't easy, I can tell you. I'll take some men and have a good look around there. And what should I do? You should get some rest and go to Rate. In the meantime, Sir Radzig will have this wretch questioned. Maybe he'll get something useful out of him. All right. I'll see you in Rate then. Rate, my favorite town, or one of them. 
I really like Sasau and I like Rate. Rate, like, they're so different, Sasau and Rate. Sasau is, like, so open and, um, and stuff. And Rate is, like, totally enclosed in, in, the, in the castle walls and stuff. Um, so they're, they give a really different feeling. And it's pretty cool. And I like it. I'm also getting some weird graphical stuff now that I wasn't getting before, which is very strange. Very strange indeed, yes. Hello? I wonder if I need to turn V-Sync on? Uh, that may or may not be better. I don't know if you guys are seeing screen tearing, but I definitely was. And that was that's weird, because I wasn't getting it before. Ah. Uh, just it's just better than pebbles except it's way slower pebbles is awesome speaking of pebbles the magical horse <laughs> all right uh so we need to go back to where's i but what about i didn't know i never got to finish my quest should i go do these right now I think I should. I think I should actually travel back to Scalitz. This is gonna be really weird, but I don't know. Uh, maybe I should wait and do that. I'm already like all the way down here. Uh, yeah. I'll do it later, even though I, I don't really, I don't know, I don't really want to do it later, but I just feel weird going all the way back to Skeletons after I, you know, uh, avoid, run away, oh, balls. This won't take long. Uh, just leave me alone, okay? Where am I going? Don't worry about it, man. Just mind your own beeswax. Oh, hi there. Blurp. We're out of combat, so we should be able to fast travel again, so. Maybe Henry needs a nap too, probably. It's been it's been a while. Mm, 61. Yeah, he's getting a little bit sleepy. Oh, actually, I picked these up, which will add a lot of leg armor. Didn't have any of those yet. Again. Seems super uncomfortable, but I'm pretty sure that um, what is it? my armor is the reason why I did so well in that fight against all those guys. Hey! Excuse me! He must be patrolling. It says he's... Somewhere. Okay, maybe not. Radzig, where are you? Be a bit more. You be a bit more. Okay, is he up here? Jesus, look! Oh, he you. is. What the hell are you fooling about here for? Be on right now or I'll fucking see you off. Shut up. I'm trying to find Radzig. He's right here. Hey. What the hell? Hi. The man. Good work, Henry. Thank you, sir. Yes. I tell wow. you to take a well-earned rest, but unfortunately I need one more thing from you. Whatever okay. you command. Yezhek refuses to talk to us. The stubborn bastard's asking to see you. Me? Indeed. Normally I'd send for Captain Burner to beat it out of him, 
But then I told myself that if he's so keen to speak to you... I'll try to get something out of him. Where is he? He's locked up in the tower. Bernard will give you the key. Very well, right. sir. Thank you. There must be something else to that, uh... Dialogue about the priest in Ushitz. Question Jeshik. Uh, have, wait, have I met him yet? I don't think I have. Um... It really does, it really does suck about, uh... Ulrich, though. It does. I was, I was hoping, you know? I was definitely hoping that I could be his friend or something, you know? He seemed like a cool guy. But oh well. Um, do I want to put anything away in here? Guess not. I just... Could read some more tavern life, but I don't know. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to this guy and then... And then I will, um... Take a break. Okay, so he... Oh, I think I know where... He's in the tower, not in the prison? It's interesting. I don't know if I've ever talked to anyone in there before. I don't think I have. Oh, that was weird. It was weird. I got like the blurry screen like I was fatigued, but it didn't turn blue like it normally does. So it was just like really fuzzy. Strange. Okay, um... Okay, I'm starting to get the feeling that hey. the que quest marker is, in fact, not pointing to Bernard. Either that or Bernard is a different quest marker and I'm just being an idiot. Yep, that's, that's my problem. What else is new? Oh my god, Pebbles, I saw you appear in, out of nowhere. Your magic! Magic Posse, you're supposed to do that in, in secret so I don't see you teleport. Don't show the enemy that you have teleport skills. We need this on our side at war. Okay, I just have to do another trip across the town to get to Bernard, who is right there. Hey! Oh, God, what is I... it? Oh, Be a God. bit more careful. I'm gonna have to go to sleep, aren't I? What is it? Uh, bollocks. Yeah, I think he's uh probably gone to bed already. Hi, is Bernard around? Nope. Okay. Well, that's annoying. That's that's pretty annoying. And, uh... Oh well. I needed to get some sleep anyway, I guess. So I'll just talk to him tomorrow. I'm gonna go back to my bed. Cause what else is there to do? Go back to sleep. In my nice cozy bed, I'm gonna read the rest of my book about drinking to learn how to be a drunk, and then uh, I'm gonna go to bed and talk to Bernard in the morning. Hey, I reached a new level. <clears throat> oh God, in drinking, excuse me. Hooray, I am a drunk and now I'm hungry again. Okay, uh, let's see. Speech also, final offer. Meh, silver tongue, increase your speech when haggling. 50% chance, high reputation when you talk to women and speech to persuade them easily. Mm, merchants will be more willing to buy stolen items from you. Um, that seems good. Especially the free bath winch services. I mean, not that it's very much money anyways, but... Warfare skill. Ooh, chain strike. Each blow in an uninterrupted chain will hurt your opponent more than the previous one. Any interruption will cancel the bonus. You have a 20% greater strength, agility, warfare, and defense in a fight when you're outnumbered. Oh, whoa, that's super good. When you draw an opponent's blood, it gives you plus one strength. The more you're wounded, the stronger your attacks are. 
I like the against all odds thing. Yeah, that's that seems really important. All right, and sword. Okay, long sword, long sword, long sword, long sword. They're all long sword ones. Run through. Pummel strike, following a feint from the right. Well, I'm just going to get that one. I guess it doesn't matter because I, I, I'm not using a long sword. Um, under the influence of alcohol, no. Duh. When drunk, you get a 50% bonus to speech. Mm, you get drunk on 50% less alcohol, saving your hard earned grocery, and your hangover the next day lasts half as long. Bear in mind, getting drunk quickly brings into both positive and negative effects of alcohol. Okay. Um. Bow skill is higher. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I guess that one. I, I, I mean, it will, it will hopefully allow me to get drunk to at least try it once because I haven't done that yet. All right, there we go. So now we need to eat. Let's go find some breakfast. Delicious breakfast. Right here. I'll eat the poor people's breakfast again. Yum, vagrant stew, delicious. <laughs> okay, now we need to find the guy that I was looking for last night. Aha, now he's at his post. Should have known he was gonna be there. I don't know what happened. But alas, it was too late last night, and now we can do it. God save you, Henry. God save you as well. Hello. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. You can. I need the key. I need the key to Yezhek's cell. Hmm. So, Sir Radzik let him have his way in the end. He should have let me beat some answers out of him. Hmm. I wonder if he doesn't want to talk to you. I wouldn't presume to question. Nah. Don't take it that way. He probably wants to talk to me because he reckons he can hoodwink me. But that's where he's wrong. Just try not to mess it up. Here's that key. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Pebbles. It's time for some, it's time for some intimidating. However, I have very low charisma right now because I'm very dirty. So I do need to take, I do need to take a, a second to uh, clean up before I interrogate him. Because I might, I might have low stats, and I don't want low stats. I need to win. Let's see if we need to go to the bathhouses or not. I need to repair my stuff too. Uh, Fifteen. That's good. That's good. Let's also do this. Yeah. Ooh. I need some more blacksmith kits. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I used up everything, huh? Okay. Well. It's fine. Yeah. Screw it, I'll just ride there. I know, I'm, I'm so lazy, I just fast travel everywhere, but, you know, it's just easier. It's the point of it, so... Might as well do it when I can. I wonder how Bernard keeps his clothes, his, his clothes and his armor so shiny every day. He must spend, like, five hours every single day, uh, like, washing his armor and stuff. Otherwise, I, I just don't know how. Uh, that's the wrong door. Go in here. Go this way and down here. Okay. Hello. How's it going? Well, finally, I've had quite a wait. Why do you want to talk to me of all people? You brought Dark me here. You should consider it an honor. 
Fucking honor. If hanging around in a damp dungeon with a condemned man is your idea of honor, you're not seeing the bright side. You can be the one who uncovers a conspiracy against the king for your master. You don't get an opportunity like that every day. It did cross my mind, though, that it might be nice to get some assurances for my cooperation. After all, I'm the one the Margrave unjustly declared the scourge of the land and expelled from Moravia. They even pulled my beautiful castle down. It was the necessity of making a living that forced me to take some liberties. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you really want to question the authority of the Margrave? I've always been loyal to the crown, but what can I do when the Margrave stole my fief? That's not why we're here. I don't care about your conflict with the Margrave. It's your crimes against the king I'm worried about. The king you say you've always been so loyal to. Very well, ask me anything you want. I won't be obstructive. What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right. The way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. So I let those crimps in Sassau recruit me. Recruit you into what? I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. But for sure, he isn't the chief. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it too. But I don't know who. Huh. This highly placed person at the monastery, what can you tell me about him? I have no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. Hmm, I see. Is there anything else at all you can tell me about him? No, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. Eric said he probably got cold feet. Okay. This Eric, you reckon he's not the one in charge? He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord, though he never mentioned him by name. Where can I find this, Eric? You must have had some meeting place. He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened, I doubt he'll be showing his face there again. How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago. And they said they were heading for Sassau that armed men were being recruited, and they'll hire anyone. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month, so I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work, honest or otherwise. We rode to Sassau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times, not some common peasant. Can you get to the point? Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything. Crimps, you're telling me this Eric is recruiting armed men in Sassau? Well, it seems so. I was giving the recruiters some of the coins to do it. The fake ones, of course. Where can I find the recruiting gang? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods next to Sasau. It's about who you know, as always. You said you gave them money. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you'd find them there now. Hmm. If you say so. How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago. And they said they were heading for Sasau. That armed men were being recruited. And they'll hire anyone. Old friends? Who were they? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month. We rode to- Can you get to the point? Well, they in- All right. That'll do me for the moment. I guess. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzig? I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. Yeah, you're a criminal. Why would Sir Radzig want your allegiance? You're a criminal and that's how you'll be treated. 
Man, these people are like, uh, well, now that I've been caught, uh, I guess I just, um, I'll just switch sides, you know, the, no big deal. I won't do it again as long as you, as long as, uh, what? you'll accept me. <laughs> uh, okay. Ooh, very bright. Very bright. Anyway, what now? What now, indeed. Report to Radzig. Okay. Well, that was, I mean, I just, I feel like it's just a never-ending chain of people that we're trying to get to, man. It's just always someone else leading to someone else to someone else. It's a really long chain of dudes that we're investigating. That's okay, though. We'll, I'm sure we'll get there in the end. Man, it feels like it feels like it's been uh, forever since I thought that Runt was like in charge of everything. That was a, a quite some time ago. Uh, Radzik, where are you? Ooh, oops. He's up there. Making his rounds again, I suppose. Hey, watch it. Pardon, there he is. Good day, Henry. Hi, how's it going? Wait, 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 wait! Don't you move? Well, what have you learned? All sorts of things. Yeah. There's some foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeiting ring. And someone highly placed at the monastery. The monastery? Really? That's what Jezek claimed. So it's worse than I thought. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. Why? Can't we just go to the monastery to investigate? No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority. So what will you do? I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know, but he's recruiting armed men in Sasau and forming an army. Damn! So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, Sir Jezek is convinced this Eric is only a go-between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasso and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. It might not be as straightforward as that. So Jezak didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You'll have to manage somehow, my lad. Don't tell me there's an armed force amassing here and nobody knows anything. Go to Sasso and try to find them. I think I know where I could ask. I helped at the infirmary in Sasau, and there was a wounded man there by the name of Thomas. <gasps> Thomas! A suspicious type, to say the least. He might know something. Yeah. Good. I'd rather see you seeking out better company, but that can't be helped. Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, sir. I'll try to blend in as best I can. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but I know of no one else who could help as much as you can now. No, I didn't. I did not promise him that. As you command, sir. Okay, I am excited because what the hell? I can take my armor off. I don't want to look like a knight, but I do want to look like I'm armored. Uh, or I want to look like I'm armed, that is. But I don't want to be, uh, you know, super armored. So I think I'll put my, I'll put some of my gear on my horse. Like the, uh, <laughs> I'll wear my, uh, sh my quiet shoes again. Yeah. Take the helmet off. Take this off. That, that looks pretty good right like that. Um, maybe take that off. It looks a little less professional. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I, I don't really need the gauntlets, actually. Yeah, uh, we could blend in a bit, you know? Only 12 charisma. Let me put this back on. I guess I'll wear that for 13 charisma. Why not? I need to buy a tailor's kit, come to think of it. Yes, I do. And an armor's kit, too. Um, I need 
all the kids, actually. It looks like. Okay. Did I just run over this lady? Sorry, lady. Hi. I hope I can be of some humble sir. I need a thingy. Blacksmith's kids. Yeah. I'll get a big one. Might as well. Um, you can have that in return. so much whatever just I'm too lazy to haggle anymore okay everything is good everything is good repaired I I'm looking pretty snappy as far as things go I would say I look armed but not nightly armed I think that's a good it's a good look to have when trying to join a group of brigands so, we shall go over here and try and find out more information in Sasau. We'll start, uh, yeah, that seems like, I mean, the inn is always a good place to go to start for, for uh, information in every game and probably in real life as well. The tavern is where it's at because everyone goes to the tavern, right? Start here. Pardon moi. Good day to you. Hello there, sir. Have you seen anything suspicious? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? And what's your idea of suspicious? Uh. Have you heard of anyone looking to hire some rough men? Mercenaries, you mean? Yes. There were some fellows conspiring here in the corner twice a week, and others coming and going. They didn't look entirely respectable, but they never made any trouble. Okay. Where do you think they might be meeting now? How should I know? I'm an honest innkeeper, not a man at arms. They could be meeting at another inn. They could be meeting in the woods by the light of the moon, for all I know. Okay, okay. How would I recognize them? Is there any way I'll recognize them? Unquenchable thirst. They drank like fish. They were rough looking too. Big bearded and scruffy. Aside from that, they mostly kept to themselves. That's not much help. What did they do while they were waiting for someone? They drank. And they played dice. I do remember there are always dice on the table. Okay. And what happened to them? I don't know, they just stopped coming. And I haven't seen hide nor hair of them since. You haven't heard anything about where they went? How could I have? They just stopped coming, and that's that. At the other inn? So they were fond of dice, were they? And where would you find a game around here? Anywhere there's dice and usually drink. That's all you need for a game. Although it dawns on me now, I never saw Simon with those men, oddly enough. He's got a nose for drunken dice players with a coin to lose. Simon who? Why, the young Miller. He runs Katzik Mill. Neighbors are always slandering him for trafficking, but who knows? Maybe he just has a knack for business. I doubt it. <laughs> okay, we'll ask them. You don't know where I might find some um, more dishonorable folk. And why would you want them? You'll set tongues wagging about you. But they'd be the ones to know what reputable townsfolk don't. I grant you that. Well, we don't have an executioner, just a knacker. But he's an odd fellow. Like any knacker, I suppose. And there's some strange tales about Miller Simon, too. But I'd say it's just jealousy. What can you tell me about Simon? There's not much to tell. He runs Katzig Mill, and some say thieves meet there at night. But isn't there gossip about every Miller? I don't think he's a sinner. But only God knows for sure. 
Anything else? You might not find him at the mill. He's a busy man, always out and about making some deal or other. And he likes to throw dice, especially when he sees a fat purse hanging on a drunken belly. What can you tell me about the knacker? Decent folk don't talk about him. He deals in carcasses. Mm. I was hoping you'd tell me a bit more than that. Why should I care about him? He lives in a house by the church, and that's all I know. And all I'll say. Okay. Thank you for the help. It seems like it's pointing more towards Simon oh, no. than it is towards the Why off so soon? Sit down for a tankard or a bite to eat. Uh, I don't have any time. I'm on the case, you know. Eh, stuck. <laughs> Can't figure that out. All right. Ask the bailiff about the grimps. Okay, sure. Well, well, yeah. Bailiff's probably probably knows something, right? Of course. If there's any trouble in town, the bailiff's gonna know about it. Hello, charlatan guy. God be with you. Hi. I've got a few questions for you, Bailiff, if you don't mind. Have you been having some trouble around here? And what business is it of yours? Did someone complain? Who sent you here? No one complained, though I'd be interested to know why you think they might. It was Lord Radzig who sent me. He'd heard word that some unsavory characters are holed up round here. Begging your pardon? Well, what the devil does Sir Radzig care about it? And I keep hearing the same from Sir Sebastian. And he's got no dog in this fight either. Wasn't I supposed to not talk about Sir Radzig? You have an inn and the horse trails cross here. There must be many travelers come seeking work and not all of them honest men. Aye, it's true. Bedlam has broken out once or twice and restoring order was no easy matter. Has there been anything like that lately? No. It's been quiet here lately. Now that I think about it, I don't recall coming across anyone here like that. Nobody looking for soldiering work, maybe as a merchant's guard? There's always one or two like that. But if they don't get the job, they move on. Okay. I heard some recruiters are meeting in Sassau. Seemed likely they'd get up to mischief and people might complain. Do you think that people here complain and I don't do my job? Nothing of the sort. Old Lederman's the only one that comes complaining, but I pay no heed to him. And what does this Lederman complain about? Lederman is our local tanner, lives by the quarry, which is where, well, some youngsters go there to wrestle. They go oh, there to right fight and that doesn't yeah. bother you. Why would it bother me? Much better to brawl there than in the tavern. At least in the quarry, they can't damage anything but each other. And my cash Jesus, go look by where you're there going. from time to time to keep an eye on things. Talk about Tanner. So many leads. So Sebastian, who's that? Sebastian Baron von Berg. He's here under monastery law to protect us against all this unrest in the land. Uh -huh. Why should he care about the city? That's not his jurisdiction, is it? Quite true. I'm in charge of this city. But he keeps telling me I've got cutthroats hiding around here and I should be more vigilant. The goal of the man. Well, he might be right. Is he, maybe he knows something about it. Have you heard any talk of strangers in the town? Maybe people acting oddly? Nothing worth mentioning. Sure, there's been some talk about the miller. Folks saying they've been seeing him doing this or that. Or people visiting him at night. But he's never done anything. He's a decent enough man for a miller. I'll try asking him if he's heard anything. He lives on the other side of the river, by the bogs. But don't go getting your hopes up. He might not be able to help. Okay. Thank you, Bailiff. Thank you kindly, Bailiff. Appreciate it. Hey, watch it. I'll remember you. Well, I'll remember you too. Not, no, actually I won't. Because you don't even have a name. Ha ha. Burn. Okay. Oh. Ask the knacker about the crimps, right? The knacker's right here. Of course, he lives. He lives right by the church. Grave digger. Jesus Christ be praised. Sup, dude. Are you the local knacker? 
I'm the local grave digger. But if there aren't any burials to take care of, I'll turn me hand to knackery. Well, then ah. you might know a lot of things that others don't. I'm a decent man. Not always honest, but decent. Anything fishy going on in these parts? There certainly is. Candles are being stolen from the church. As brazen as that. What sort of people do that? Ah, but have you heard of anyone around here hiring adventurers and bandits? How would I know that? Most people avoid talking to me. I don't even go to the tavern much these days. Okay, so Thank I, I didn't think now. he was going to have any information. Very well. Feel free to stop by any time. People shy away from me, except when there's a death or the cesspit's full. I did, uh, yeah, everything seemed to be pointing more towards Simon, so let's go find him. There's the tanner. Where's the miller? Oh, Thomas. Actually, yeah, let's go talk to Thomas first. That's a good lead, I think. I don't know if I need to do, talk to all of these leads or if I just need to find the one that is... Um, makes the most sense. Hi, villager. You're not always there. But I feel like this Thomas guy, he owes me one, I think, so... Let's hope he gives me some information that's worthy of what's going on around here. Another one that's going to be taking food out of our mouth. Yeah, it's you. Uh, uh, what do you want? Hi. Now that you're better. How are you doing? Feeling better yet? Hi. Aye, much better. I'm truly grateful. A bit longer and I'll be able to run back to the woods and carry on. Well, never mind. Very kind of you to look in on me. Truth be told, I didn't come just for your health. What do you need? Well, I've heard tell there's work for fearless men who enjoy a bit of silver. Ah, I believe I can help you with that. Oh. They used to frequent the tavern, but now they meet in the church. The church? Aye, that's right. The church is locked at night, but if you see a light, the door will be open. Oh. Go in there and wait. Say a prayer or something, and... Then you'll see. That's it? I don't need to speak to anyone? Just doing what I told you is enough. They'll give you a good look over and see if you've got the metal. Don't you worry about that. All right, thank you. You took care of me. Why wouldn't I help you? Tit for tat, eh? All right, cool. Figured that would be good. So we figured that out. Um, nothing else really we need to ask about here, so... We need to we need to wait till nighttime though. Um what time is it right now? Not nighttime. Doesn't even know how to apologize. I'm sorry, Johanka. I could take a nap, I guess. Um hmm. Well, I'm gonna need I guess I'll put those on. They give me a lot of, uh... Talky talk points. Anything else give me talky talk points? Nope. Just those. Okay. I can handle that. Um... I, I, as I suspected, we didn't really have to do all of those objectives. Okay, let's wait until... Uh, it's almost midnight, and then we'll head over. Game saved. Hungry again. Always hungry. We should be able to find some um, food here. Oh, yeah. Meat farm pots. Delicious. There's a treasure hunt around here, too, that I wanted to do at some point. Maybe before we leave Sasa this time. What the hell? Hi. Oh, 
has the light on? It's hard to tell. You'd think this guy would know, you know? Like, he lives right by the church, and if this is their meeting place... say the candles are lit. Is it not late enough? Oh. Oh, it's not midnight. What was that? Why was I thinking it was almost midnight? That is not correct. Um, that's not really a door. All right, well, I'll just wait a bit more then, I guess. Till it's actually dark. Okay. Well, it's still open. Ah, here we go. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. What? Hi. So, Ooh. you've been looking for us, eh? What is it you want? To join. I just want to join the party. Are you hiring men who don't mind getting their hands dirty? Is that so? And where did you hear that? Taverns and the like. People talk. Oh, that's a pretty tale. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? I don't recall his name, but he was one of your friends. He said that he couldn't take me straight to you, that I had to go through the church. He was right about that. But he still said more than he should have. I know my way around. You won't go wrong with me. Spare me the boasting. I've got a test ready for you. Let's see how you handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. What test? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight. But not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? Steal something? No, not theft. If you want to join us, you have to kill Pius. Why? Who's pious? And why should I kill him? That's none of your business. But I'll tell you anyway, because it's an instructive tale. Pious was one of us, but he fucked up. How? Did he steal something? <laughs> yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money, ran away. A few boys died over it. Showed a distinct lack of loyalty. And as soon as he's dead, you can join us. Well, I guess if he was one of them. I'll have to find him first. <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know where he is. Then why haven't you killed him yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable oh. boys. It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Or he would have been dead long since. He's in the, uh, cloister. Or whatever it is. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest. But it didn't quite work out. Interesting. Okay. Well, how can I get in? And how am I supposed to get into the cloister? You'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. I've heard there's some cave underneath. The cave of St. Procopius. There might be a way into it from outside. And do you have any other ideas besides secret passages? Well, there is this one fellow been hanging around the taverns. Supposed to join the monastery soon. Might be he could help you somehow. I'd try talking to him if I were you. And if he doesn't help, knock him on his ass and take anything he's got that you could use to pass yourself off as him. A letter of admittance to the monastery or whatever. I wonder if I could just find some monk robes somewhere. Um, 
What does he look like? How will I recognize Pius? He won't have been there long. He should be the only new one there. But what if there are others? What does he look like? Normal. He always went about well dressed and had a fine looking dagger. Okay. Yes, except he'll be given a robe and they'll take his knife. Then you'll have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is and get him to betray himself. Try getting him drunk. Then send him straight to hell. Get him drunk? In a monastery? <laughs> Where better? There's more wine there than in the royal cellars. And I doubt he suddenly stopped drinking. Okay. Um. I'll do it. Fine. So I've got to kill Pius. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy who's joining the order, right? More or less. And now the main thing. The main thing is to kill him, isn't it? <laughs> of course. But that's not all. All hell's gonna break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. And what else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. And if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. Bring his dice and the money if I find it. And where should I bring it? From the monastery, head east across the river. There'll be a swamp where you'll find a fire pit. Go there at night and light a fire. Make it nice and big and we'll show up. Take the dice and the money and then tell you where to report. Got it? Right, I'm to slip into the best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money, and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. Yeah, that's the idea. <sighs> well, you can at least say a few Hail Marys for me. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. <laughs> and remember, we'll be keeping tabs. So don't you try to run off, all right? Why would I run off? I need this. I mean, I don't have that much of a problem killing this dude if he was, if he was, you know, one of the bandits or whatever. That's fine. Can't beat him. Join him. Oh, now I'm locked in here. Okay. That's, that's great. Talk to the young man who's supposed to enter the monastery. Enter the monastery. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait in here all night then, because, uh... I can't leave, so that's cool! Great! <laughs> so, I guess next time... We'll leave. Next time we'll leave and we'll go uh, talk to this guy that's at the... In. I all oh, interesting. I also have the option of telling Sir Radzik. I don't know. I kind of don't want to tell Sir Radzik. Although, I don't know, he might agree. He might agree, honestly, but I don't I don't really want to tell him that I'm gonna go murder someone. It doesn't matter, right? I'm just getting I'm getting the job done. I'm gonna I'm gonna become one of them. And this is what I have to do to do that. So I'm just doing my due diligence. I'm just doing what I gotta do. And I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go murder this guy, hopefully, if it all goes well. I am sneaky, so I think I have a pretty good chance of either sneaking in uh, we could try and sneak in beforehand um, without even talking to that guy. I do know that the the cave that goes to um, St. Precocious or whatever his name is, something like that, um, I think it's a dead end unless there's a secret passage like in the cave. So I might go check that out first, and then if I can't find a way in, I may, uh, I may go talk to that guy. It's too bad I can't get out right now because I'd, I'd like to... Do this at night, but you know, apparently I can't get out. I'm stuck in this lovely, lovely church. 
So thank you everyone for joining me once more for another episode of King Kong Come Deliverance. Next time we will should be uh, should be an exciting one. Next time I'm thinking I I can't wait to continue. So I'll see you then everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>